Hi, myself is Manishankar. I am working as a MATLAB program in Spiral Group of Companies. Now I am going to explain about the project known as Face Recognition Across Non-Uniform Motion Blur Illumination and Pose. In existing method has a lot of disadvantages known as in which we cannot identify the face if it has blur or if it has any of the uh, blur and uh, illuminations. If it varies continuously, we cannot identify the face that who is an authenticated person. In our project, we, are, we can identify any face that is authenticated face if it has any blur or illumination or any pose. This is a basic concept of our program. It has, we have broadly differentiated the existing system and the proposed system. The, we, now I am going to explain about the existing concept and the proposed concept. In our existing concept, we are recognizing the face in the presence of blur and in using convolution model. And it cannot handle non-uniform blurring. In the case non-uniform blurring in the sense if the image is changing continuously, it cannot identify the image. And the blurring is caused mainly due to the presence of if we shake the camera while taking the image and model convolution with a single blur kernel because here we are using a single blur kernel so they cannot identify the who is the authenticated image. In the proposed concept, we propose a methodology for face recognition the presence of space varying motion. This is the concept we are using here, space varying motion, blur composing of arbitrary shaped kernels. This is the advanced kernel regarding to the uh, existing concept. <coughs> and this is what I so and so explained here. And, the, and we, here we are differentiating the existing technique and the proposed technique. In the existing technique, we are using the direct recognition blurred face DB, DRBF. And in the proposed algorithm, we are using space invariant blur. Okay? Now I am going to explain about the technique which we are used in here. A pixel is in a blurred image is a weighted average of the pixel neighborhood in the original image. And thus, blurred image is modeled as a convolution operation. This is what performed here. And the blur kernel is possessed additional structure depending on the type of blur and the structure could be exploited. This is what, may, may, what we are performing in DRBF. And in the proposed technique, we are using a handling images blur shake. And this is caused because of camera shakes. We synthetically blur and focus the gallery image. We have already some gallery that is deriving all the data regarding an image which could be possibly blurred. And we are making the image or look like an original image through which we get the authenticated image. Here we are differentiating about the drawbacks and advantages in the present model and the existing model. As far as miniature technique is recognition faces across simulation, so the, it cannot identify the new image that which is identified image. It has advantage of mobile video identity resolution and uh, surveillance applications. It has lot of applications from 2D transformation to 3D transformation. It is very accurate and it can be used widely. This is a uh, block diagram here which focused image, focused gallery and it is converted into three modules known as blurred observatory convolution model and space invariant model. The image is going through all these spaces and we get an output known as blurred illumination and pose. And using here we recognize the face and we, we show with, which is authenticated and which is not authenticated image. There are wide variety of applications from each and every pro where we need require an authenticated person to auth use the authenticated system. Right from the passports to driver license and ease etc. These are the requirements for uh, this project. It requires a normal processor of Pentium dual core and a hard disk of 40 GB, RAM of 2 GB, keyboard of content keyboard that is known as QWERTY keyboard and this is a future enhancement. It has a few limit as uh, in future we have a lot of uh, idea for this uh, making it more uh, useful and we can reduce the approach by accuracy and efficiency which is most important. Now it is efficiency is higher but still in future we can improve the accuracy to its maximum and thank you.